Hey everyone, Gage here with Bernie Burns. Hey uh, Team. everybody, we are live from E3. The Straight from the YouTube booth here, E3. Electronic Entertainment Expo, live from the LA Coliseum. It's fun, it's fun. So yeah. you having a great day so far? So far, so good. So YouTube launched YouTube Gaming. Right. And so this is the first time YouTube has ever had a booth at E3. Sure. And so they came to us and they said, hey, how do you guys feel about hosting one of the days uh, on the show floor? And we said, at Rooster Teeth, we were like, why don't we do all three days? Yeah, and they were right. like, oh, okay, let's do that. So it was a lot of fun, it was a lot of work. Uh, we put together a whole schedule that has a lot of other YouTube gaming channels, sure. developers, trailers, game demos, all that stuff. And we're like two hours into it at this point, taking a short break. Yeah, I see even you brought the Funhouse guys in here too. So. Oh, we, we can't get rid of them. They're, oh, they're, you know, we come to LA and they're like, what are you guys doing? What's up? We're yeah, like, we're right across the street, you know? Yeah. So, so yesterday, I mean, it's early in the day Tuesday. We haven't seen too much and I don't know what you've done, but yesterday with the big conferences, what do you think came out and stood out the most uh, yesterday uh, with, during the conferences? Yeah, so what did I like the best? Sure, yeah. Sure. Oh, you know, However you want to interpret it, Bernie. Yeah, I think the uh, it's crazy how E3 starts sooner and sooner every year, right? right. Like, even Bethesda mm -hmm. put out the Fallout 4 announcement like two weeks before E3. And that E3 was a day, day negative one, basically. Exactly, yeah. or did negative like 14 in that <laughs> case. But uh, I think probably the best thing that I've seen so far, the most surprising thing, was probably the Fallout Shelter mobile game. Okay. And it was weird for E3. But I always like those moments when they're in a press conference and they say, here's something you've never heard of before, right. and by the way, go get it right now. Yeah. Sony had a really awesome one with that last year where they showed Destiny, they announced it was the beta, and it's like you go play the beta as soon as the conference was over. Sure. So that Fallout Shelter was probably my funnest moment, most okay. fun moment of the conference <laughs> so far. Uh, and what did you think about maybe Xbox One having Xbox 360 compatibility, backwards compatibility? Okay. I'm not a big fan of backwards compatibility. Right, I, I know this because of the podcast. Yeah, I think you pay a lot of money in hardware in the console that you don't necessarily need. Okay. I think it's interesting that we're, we're kind of beyond that window of crossover games. So I guess it's just a way of like finally saying you can put your 360 away. Fine. You know? Yeah. It's like the Xbox One finally is having that, you know, that push away from shore moment where this is our platform and there's nothing else. So, I mean, if it's going to come on the console, I'm not going to complain about it. Sure. It's great. All my games are digital, though, so I'm just going to download all my digital games. Yeah. yeah, so you need that to tear by hard drive now, so... I do. Yeah. yeah, I actually already have an external hard drive that I plug in. So you're ahead of the curve. Pro tip. Yeah. Pro tip. <laughs> Straight from Bernie. There you go. So one last question. What are you looking forward to this week at E3? Is there anything you want to get your hands on, really, you want to dive into? Yeah, uh, I want to take a look at XCOM 2, which is right near us, right. because I'm a big fan of the series. Wasn't overly impressed with the trailer they put out, unless that's all gameplay footage. Okay. And if that's the case, then it's amazing. But uh, I'm looking forward to playing XCOM 2, uh, mainly because I'm looking forward to the title, but also because I'm a little bit skeptical of what I've seen so far. Okay. So, hoping to change that opinion. Sure. Bernie, anything else for our viewers? Maybe anything you want to say? Shout out to YouTube here? Or... No, if you miss any of the live coverage that we did here on the stage at E3 Live, then you can always just check out the gaming channel, youtube.com slash E3, uh, or youtube.com slash Rooster Teeth, and see everything that we shot. Whatever we can show after the fact, we will be showing. Some things like music and things we can only show live. But everything that we can catalog, we will, and you can go watch it whenever you want. Perfect. Bernie, thank you so much. Make sure you check out roosterseat.com. Very popular site. Yeah. I love it. Uh, make sure you stay here on Press Start TV for all things covering E3 all week long, uh, and stay tuned. Bye, everybody.